Being a chef in 2021 is actually pretty awesome. Nowadays, they have apps, so many recipes online, but I gotta be honest, one of my favorite apps to use is called Granda. I will admit, I think for an up and coming chef, a young cook, they have some really good base fundamental recipes on here. I'm gonna show you how I navigate the app. So check this out. I'm in their master classes and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna go to the Petty Fours master class. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going to go to Petty Fours Fundamental Basic Recipes. For a young and upcoming cook, this is a really good technique for you to know whether you're savory or pastry. What I wanna to do today to show you how easy it is, is the choux pastry dough and cracklin. What's awesome about this is he gives you not only video instruction, but he also goes over the technique and he gives you full recipes. So we're gonna make it right now and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's go. So we have our pot. You're gonna add 80 grams of milk, 80 grams of water. I mix these two together. 80 grams of butter, three grams of sugar, three grams of salt. And I think what's really important is when you're making something new for the first time, always have your stuff pre-measured out. We call that mise en place. Bring this up to a simmer and wait until the butter is melted. What you're gonna do is you're gonna create the batter now. So I'll have a whisk to start with the flour. Once all of the flour absorbs the liquid, you're gonna have to switch to a spatula. You'll know when it's ready, when the dough starts sticking to the bottom of the pan. And listen, he gives a full demonstration on this. Have no fear on the Granda app and keep stirring until the dough starts to come together. Take this off the heat and then get your shoe dough right in there. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna let this turn around in there and let the temperature of the dough come down. Wait until the, sh the dough stops steaming. Then you know you can add your eggs. We're gonna add 140 grams of eggs and go ahead and scramble them up a little bit. What I like to do is get it right into a piping bag. Try to get out all the air bubbles so that way when you go to pipe, it doesn't give you issues. This goes into the fridge for about 30 minutes. Okay, now we're gonna make our cracklin real quick. That was 90 grams of all-purpose flour. Then we have 45 grams of light brown sugar. 45 grams of regular sugar, okay? And what you wanna do is mix this around a little bit. 70 grams of butter. You just wanna incorporate. Once you get to here, we are good to go. I'm gonna put this on here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flatten this out. You wanna go really thin, thin to win. Chill this until I'm ready to use it. Last one. Sheesh. Beautiful recipe here. I really enjoyed making these, but the true test. Look at that. So super crispy on the outside, nice and hollow in the middle. This is what you're looking for. Boom. Mm. Shout out to Granda for the recipe and the masterclass. Let's go.